Hey, it's this time of the year. It's time to design our own calendar using Affinity apps. I'm going to design a calendar template in Affinity Designer. It will be also compatible with Affinity Photo, so you can edit that in both programs. So here I am in Designer. I got just simple A4 blank page. And first we're going to borrow something from Publisher. So that's the first trick for today. I head to Publisher and as you can see, I got a table here. So there's a native table tool in Publisher. Now I can just copy this table, Command C and Command V, paste it into my design document and it's recognized as the table layer. Got columns and rows as a table in Publisher. So even though the tool is not on the tool list here, I borrowed this tool from Publisher, it works just fine. So I will need seven columns for seven days of the week and I will need six rows. All right, so this would be the base grid for our calendar. I place it here on this bottom part. So you got the top part for customization. You can put your own illustration, pictures, whatever you like. I will drop the link to this template in the description. All right, let's zoom in a bit. And in the first row, we're going to put days of the week. We can select multiple cells, so just drag your mouse over and this way we can modify the text in multiple cells in the same time. I think I will use a Roboto font for this one as I want to keep it simple as a template. This is very common font, most people got it. If you don't have it, you can simply download this from the internet, it's a free font. So let's stick with the Roboto font. Maybe we'll center this. Or maybe we'll center all of the cells straight away. Okay. Just like that. All right, now the top, we can make it a bit bolder and larger as well. Alignment to the bottom, like that. And for the rest, I will align to the top. So keep it like that. Okay, we can also change a uh, cell fill colors and borders as well. This is like proper table we borrow from publisher. All right, let's start by filling in those numbers here. All right, I got all numbers in. Now I can modify the font a little bit. Now I will align them to the right. Make the font the same one as the header so I can move to use font so I can see which font been used in this document. All right. I will make it medium and then I will increase the font size. I will actually type 21. I want this to be 21. And maybe the top header will be 14. All right. With this basic setup, we can also give some kind of shading for weekends. So Saturday, Sunday. I will give it a gentle gray color. And as I mentioned, this is just a template, so it's very basic design because it's for you to customize and modify. All right, we need to also add some kind of header so we know which month is it. And here it is, we got already our January template. We need 11 more. So I will simply click Artboard tool. Now I can insert the blank artboard, but first time you use it, you're actually unlocking the existing artboard. Take a look, now this artboard got a name. So I can rename it. And also now I can duplicate the whole artboard. So if I right click in the layer panel, duplicate, I can just pull it out like that. And I got exact copy of, with all of the elements. So I got kind of the second page. If you export this to PDF, you got page number one, page number two.
and now I simply need to adjust those numbers because we got the next month here. All right, so I simply edit the text. You can double tap on any number, select this and type a new number. So we got the second month done and you already know how to make the next month. We simply zoom out, select the whole artboard, right click, we can duplicate the whole thing, move it to the side nicely. And now we got the third page. All right, so I'm going to do the same process for all 12 months. So let me just do it and speed up this video so you can see the final template. All right, and we are done. We got all 12 months on separate artboard. So I prepared the table, the calendar for you. You got this empty area above. And remember, you can also modify the font size, the text in the calendar. There's enough space to type something below, like some holidays or add some cute stickers. If you want to mark the holiday, you can also change the font color easily. Just like that. Take a look now. The 10 is in red color. All right, so as I mentioned, I will drop the link in the description so you can download this template for free. It's compatible with Affinity Designer version 2, Affinity Photo version 2 as well. And remember, you can customize it. You can turn it into a planner. You can move those months into one page or you can have six months in one page, whatever you like. So this will be available for free for my Patreon. You can just join for free. You don't need to be a supporter or anything like that. Thank you for today and I will see you in the next one.